Hey everybody, welcome back for another cryptocurrency news article read through. This one's coming from Bitcoin Magazine and the US government preparing to sell 30,000 Silk Road Bitcoin on chain data shows. Well, we'll see, or is this just clickbait? US government prepares to sell Bitcoin related to the Silk Road for the first time since March 2023. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's find out in this article. So here we go. Today, the US government sent a transaction that appears to indicate it may be on the verge of liquidating the remaining Bitcoin it confiscated from the online marketplace Silk Road. According to on-chain data, a 0.001 Bitcoin test transaction, part of a larger stash of approximately 30,174 Bitcoin worth $2 billion, linked to this infamous Silk Road roadmap or road marketplace. They were moved by the U.S. government. So yeah, I've been seeing art, this article around. Here's that transaction happening on that blockchain. But no, I've been seeing this like where it's like the U.S. moved the Silk Road money to a new wallet. But does this mean they're going to sell? I don't know. Let's continue on. Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States, received the transaction from the, from the, the Silk Road related funds. Arkham Intelligence, which first identified the origins of where the Bitcoin was coming from, and the coins destination of Coinbase. It appears the purpose of this transaction is to sell the coins as it has previously done in the past. So, okay. Now, last March, the U.S. government sold off 10,000 Bitcoin related to Silk Road, selling just over 9,861 Bitcoin or 216 million according to a court filing. Now, as in this case, this event was preceded by three on-chain transactions, which were sent a few weeks prior to the sell disclosure in a court filing. Now, the U.S. Marshal Services is one of the largest Bitcoin sellers to date. According to data from researcher Jameson Lop, the U.S. Marshals have helped the U.S. government sell 195,000 Bitcoin. Now, despite attempts by the U.S. lawmakers to have the agency hold these funds as a strategic asset, it has continued to sell the funds in line with its mandate. The role of the U.S. Marshal Service being to sell off assets confiscated in criminal investigations. So, yeah, instead of just holding on to it, which would be the smartest decision ever, <laughs> and they're just going to maintain what they were supposed to do, just sell it off whenever they can. And, yeah, I guess they're going to probably continue it just just from the sign show of it. But no, what do you think? Are they going to sell it all? Or they finally just ch change their mind? Because I don't think they can sell the full two billion like uh, dollars worth. Like, what was that number again? 30,000. So yeah, eh. we'll see. That's 3x from last time. Because that last one last year was 10,000. Who knows? We just got to wait and see. This will be an ongoing story for you. But I hope you enjoyed this news article read through. And if so, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.